Okay, my friends, now we're going to do almost the same thing as the last video, except now we're switching roles. We want to prove rigorously what the derivative of cosine of theta is. We all know that ahead of time, but like I said, we'll do that rigorously so that uh, we know the answer beyond a shadow of a doubt of trying to just trust someone else's word for it. And then once we have that, as I mentioned in the last video, once you know the derivative of something, you can go backwards and find the antiderivative or the integral very, very simply, okay? So we'll then use that to find the antiderivative of sine of theta, d theta. After this, we will then showcase a series of integral finding videos of various powers of sines and cosines, okay? So that's the idea culminating ultimately with um, the famous reduction formula so you can uh, go to higher powers if so desired. Okay, so like in the last video, um, I'm going to start by calling this my function f of theta. So by definition, then I get that uh, the derivative f prime of theta is by definition the limit as delta theta tends to zero of what of f of theta plus delta theta minus f of theta all divided by delta theta that's your rigorous definition of the derivative of a function and uh, so we will go ahead and put stuff in that we know. So this is equal to the limit of delta theta tending to zero of, what is f of theta plus delta theta? It's going to be cos of theta plus delta theta minus f of theta is cos of theta divided by delta theta. And now, well, I've asked us to memorize these, uh, so you should have done that. We rely on what is the definition of cos of the angle sum. So let's say I have cos plus or minus, uh, cos of A plus or minus B. We've asked us to memorize those, so this is cos of A, cos of B. The signs get flipped, right, so it becomes minus plus sine of a sine of b and so if i use that on this angle sum of theta plus delta theta i'm going to find that this is equal to uh, cos of theta times cos of delta theta minus sine of uh, theta times sine of delta theta Okay, so all of this came from applying that angle sum formula that I've asked us to memorize, minus the cos of theta sitting out there, all divided by the delta theta. And I forgot, I just noticed that I forgot to write my uh, limit. So this is really equal to the limit as delta theta goes to zero. And like we did in the last video, uh, we are going to spot a couple of things that are not varying in the limit, namely the cos of thetas, which are these two, are not varying in the limit. So let's work on those first. So let's pull those out. So I'm going to write this as cos of theta times the limit as delta theta tends to zero of what is varying uh, on the cos. So if I pull out the red circled cos of theta terms out like I did, I factored that out, I'm going to get uh, cos of delta theta minus a one over a delta theta. And uh, then I'm going to get a minus, and so now let me do this in a different color, let's do it in green. This term right here, the sine of theta is also not influenced by the limiting process as delta theta is going to zero, so I'll pull that out. So let's say minus sine of theta times the limit 
of uh, as delta theta tends to zero of the remaining stuff. So that's sine of delta theta over delta theta. And in fact, what I would really like to do, because now that I'm looking at the bracketed terms, I notice that the first one resembles my my video from two videos ago. Okay, Th there is a slight difference. My the result that we proved two videos ago was one minus cos of x over x. The limit of that tended to zero. So, well, not to worry. Why don't we just do this? I'll pull out a minus sign here, and I will switch the signs there. Done. Okay. So now I have really exactly what we showed from two videos ago. So C two videos ago. And then, uh, well, the, the right bracketed term C three videos ago. And if you look at those videos, we showed that uh, two videos ago that this is going exactly to zero in that limit and this is going to exactly one in that limit. And so uh, what, what does that mean? That means that we have here minus cos of theta times zero minus sine of theta times one. Okay, so obviously cos uh, minus cos theta times zero is, gets wiped out at zero. So we, we now have shown that therefore f prime of theta, which is equal to d d theta of cos of theta is equal to minus sine of theta. Okay, so we've rigorously shown this result and that uh, concludes the proof of the first part that we wanted to do. And now that we know the derivative, we're able to come in and do the antiderivative without any real trouble whatsoever. So from here, I'm going to show that uh, d of cos of theta is equal to minus sine of theta d theta and Here's, once again, my little abbreviation for integrate both sides. If I integrate on the left, I have d of something. Well, the integral of d of something is always that something, right? So I get uh, <coughs> integrating both sides. Let me, uh, first of all, go ahead and uh, actually, before I do that, let me um, do the following. Let's do this. Let's multiply both sides. So before I integrate, let's multiply both sides by 1. Okay, by minus one, I should say. And I'll flip these around. So I'll get that sine of theta d theta is equal to minus d of cos of theta. And so now let's go ahead and integrate both sides of this. And so the integral of sine of theta d theta is equal to minus the integral of d of something is that something plus a constant of integration. So it's going to be minus the cosine of theta plus a constant of integration. Okay, And so I, I believe that uh, we all knew that that was coming. And the message, again, as I mentioned in the last video, there are two prevailing messages. One is to use the definition to our advantage to rigorously show something namely what I've got boxed down here, we use the definition to rigorously show that result. And once I have that derivative result, I can go backwards and use it to my advantage to find the antiderivative. And so that's what we did over here. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the future upcoming videos.